Alex Messi, all your commissioners, your special advisors, your senior special assistants, all heads of power status, they are all here. Would you respect your excellency? Most of us may not know why we are gathered. But there are some people here who know exactly what has brought us together here. And your excellency, it is with due respect to you that I switch this microphone to the man whose job it will be to identify the personalities that are here gathered in this delegation being led by Ahmed Yagama to be involved. Therefore, in all humility, the microphone switches over to the president of Hanei Zendi Boimo State Chapter, Dr. Zechi Chuku. Ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. Your Excellency, you have before you in this auspicious gathering the copy of Imo State elders and stakeholders of our entity. Our competent here this afternoon is the output of a most intense conversation to critical expertise on who
came out here to present to you the ancient, the long-term pillars of belief who have associated with this extraordinary diligent and the free of
say we want to embrace this. Please take note of it. We are not threatening anybody. This company is, belongs to us. They don't, they don't have the we have not made one of the people to Nigeria that any progress. So the country in Nigeria is not one of us. We are asking our own right. The constitution of Nigeria has a federal character. We say a federal character to apply to political institutions. That's what we say. And I'm just asking for that. We are not doing any work. We are not doing any work. And it is wrong to say that. So the use, you know, of this. So the girls don't have to fight the fight. He talks about restructuring. Yes. We ask for restructuring of our right. We are told by our family fathers that what the house is in two versions of. We didn't go to a unitary government. What upon the country was abandoned if we are told to be a unitary government? Why somebody is not there with the for us to move on? We want a true federation. We are asking for restructuring. Bring it back for what it was. Not that we want the life to take the world to strike off that we want to strike That's what we want. When we ask for it, we are not telling anybody. We are not telling anybody that we are not telling. We are asking them to bring back the fundamental base of union and the relationship, which was agreed before that exist. We want it. We are not begging for it. So these are the issues I want to mention here. I don't think I will make a lot of your time. The point about the point is, for you, you know, I have a lot of respect for you. It's true, you know, my father, at the time of the baby, the only people who know me very well. And you understand me. So, I would have made a present to you. What a present to you here. Yeah? You should try to have a present. It's a present by this uh, illness. Uh, it's a present. Of a phone book, which you will use in your time now in your house. I have here 100 copies of this book. This book is a very good book. It is a good book for me, it's a source of inspiration. People ask me, how are you doing it? Because I am now the treasurer of it, I don't have to start old. But people say, look, if you don't look at that age, what happens? I say, it's gospel. Believe in God and trust God, God will be with you. And I'm the first to be one of you. So we are going to present that we are presenting this book to you. And uh, frankly speaking, this book is a very good book. There are some songs there when I'm going to warn you. At times, yes, there is. Friends, I'm going to let you down. When my friends let me down, there's a song here, which is 79, Courage Brothers in Your Company. Those are the stars in that aspect. There is a star behind it. Trust me, whatever you write. But still, your best thing says some will love you, some will hate you, some will flatter, some will strike. Look up to them. Please be there. Trust me, God, and do the right. This is distinguished senator from Odinika Ozonema Omoyoko. Permit me to stand on the existing protocol. The church in Iwo State is not involved in this process. I was elected to represent the church. We met seriously, and in all our considerations and deliberations, we saw transparency and we saw forthrightness in the heart and lives of our leaders who came together for this people. And the church considered very, very important one essential quality in the life of the person we gave our love for. And that is the diplomacy, the capacity to use diplomacy to gain from people what we cannot get through shouting. Therefore, the church in its entirety agreed and endorsed the candidate of his Excellency Ambassador George Obiozo. Thank you. Senator Oko, who is a big man. Right, Honorable Speaker. I don't want you to stand on the wall of the established protocol here. Yes, but simply from the traditional.
educational institution here today. So I need to be honored and humiliated. Our job was very difficult and easy. To find somebody was sort of a challenge. Somebody that is going to match or beat the performance of the current president general of Malaysia, Niamu, who's been a wonderful trade leader. But then, we talk about the excellency that it is the tour of Ugo State to produce the next of an Asian president general. So it became quite simple. In the sense that Ibo State is the most educated state in the country. So, as in a anani tuwa ni yini yetu na mataniti. So when we call our sons and daughters, especially our sons, and their parents, their siblings. So many of them had intimidating pretension. Wonderfully qualified. But we have to pick one of them. And after proper assessment and after doing proper due diligence on their degrees and qualifications, we excellency, we came up unanimously, unanimously, it became so evident.
that the present president. Most of the people who apply are quite qualified, like you know, to do more with a man. But we were looking for the best. And by the grace of God, we were able to support Professor George Biozo. His CV is intimidating. And he then examined into the past state for ourselves. We chose him, and at the end of the day, we uh, had held the journey and told them the person we chose. And all of them were quite happy with it. And they accepted my choice. So this is the position. But Professor George the Bioso has been selected by Ibo people to be the present president of Est of uh Hanes and Pim. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. 
head and say it's broken. Very distinguished people. Uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank Imo people. Imo Mahanesia. Imo elders. Imo stakeholders. Indeed, by when we humbly confess that my position to contest for the office of the general of our little people worldwide was the decision not based on self-aggrandizement, not based on personal ambition or personal promotion. By my own I have come out grown all that. My most compelling necessity was the service. Indeed, service at one of the most critical times in Nigeria with the dire consequences when they The service that it has been to never in the history of people since the Civil War are we facing the kind of existential threat that we face today. The ego dilemma, put the fact that the existence of the people that are gathered have finally come home to us at last. And the time of life, they don't care, they don't need skills to manage in the nature of the people and the rest of Nigeria. Don't be a fall guy. In America, the fall guy is so innocent, but so ignorant that they always become the victim of the same thing they know and they control. What happens to the victim? He suffers. He suffers and suffers. Indeed, the nature of job today requires serious experience. The capacity to do some form of concession and be self family, some form of elite consensus among the people to face the reality that confronts us. I think, with all the sincere opinion, I have the background and I have the experience. <laughs>
Both are 
not only complex, but downright dangerous. So you must be careful and navigate your interests carefully. I want to say that what is this particular one? Our chairman has said it. Our leader has mentioned it. Restructuring. What do we see the structuring and the by bringing governance near to the left to have a little making what was the vision of our family better. A land where the land shall touch the little, but the brother will be uh, And the ego program said that many parents, mother, and everywhere, blind and left, and you can. But how can any land get left? I don't know. So what is more, we will never let regular statement and calculated threat to put our people in harm's way. We can never again volunteer, as I said earlier, as victims of circumstances we didn't create or can control. Indeed, may as I saw in the room that I said as an obligation, the institution to choose me to contest the present, present general for an agent. I tell you that both the challenge and responsibility, the challenge I must confront triumphantly with the honor and dignity, and the sense of responsibility that this three governments my humble self to show that for the benefit of the people, humanity, and the glory of God. We are glad to lend our support to the candidacy of Prophet George Obiazo on behalf of Johannes and Nibo Youth and my also executive member and the leaders of different faith leaders are also here to lend their support. Nibo, elders, we sincerely thank you for selecting this man. Because this Ohanese is a serious business in Igbo land, and we want somebody who is a serious minded person. We thank you for bringing a credible candidate that will do the neighbor. And we believe other governors and other Igbo, Igbo city states, plus Delta and River, will follow suit so that we will have Ohanese that everybody will be proud of. We also thank you, Excellency Governor of Imo State, for giving these people the privilege and opportunity to select among themselves. Because not other states, other states are not doing the same. But we believe with what you people have done today, other states will follow suit. Thank you for setting the pace, Your Excellency. We are not and people are solidly behind your candidates, and we must deliver in a new come January. Thank you so much. <laughs> The man being presented today to go for the position of President General of Malaya was presenting his letter of credence to the President of the United States of America. And Your Excellency was standing by the red carpet and the whole world was watching you, the Governor of the United State. <laughs> Your Excellency, at that time, you witnessed the presentation of George Bills to the President of America. This afternoon, Your Excellency, you are sitting as governor and your Bioso is being presented to you as the president coming president general of <laughs> Your Excellency, I want to recall quickly that at that time, George Bioso was considering whether he would accept that appointment as ambassador to U.S. or not. Your Excellency, stories went that were among those who told him to go and people didn't understand the meaning of go. The first letter of George is G. The first letter of George is O. It's simply go. 
And then, when you look at the position, he's also aspiring to your excellency, President General Ohanese. If you take B from professor, and take G from church, and take O, it's BGO, President General Ohanese. So you find out whichever way you do it, George Ogozo is fitting. Having said this, Your Excellency, I want to remind Your Excellency that for this event, we thought it was a very short, simple event. But your local government chairman, Your Excellency, arrived there since 11 o'clock in the morning. We didn't even know. With due respect, Your Excellency, may all the local government chairmen here please stand up in solidarity to what has happened. And Your Excellency, they came with stakeholders and royal partners from all the local governments in order to witness this thing that is happening live. We want to thank all of you. Please be seated. Having said this, may I, in the language of the Bible, say, Your Excellency, the Governor, Leader, may you speak for your people here at Right, Honorable Speaker, the most next House of Assembly, the Deputy Speaker, the most next House of Assembly, members of the House of Assembly who are here today, the Secretary to the Government of Imo State, Honorable Commissioners, and all political appointees. Chairman of our great party, Imo APC, Prince Maslenos Nemi, the leader of the delegation, and the chairman of the Zendibo Edas Council, Chief Engineer Emmanuel Duwain, the chairman. Of Ohanes and the most state chapter, the former deputy governors, Dr. Douglas Achalono, Action, ladies and gentlemen. The decision of Imo State Chapter of Rohanes and to present a consensus candidate for the position of the President General of this our great and all important social cultural conference of Ndibu all over the world is very laudable. I must confess that I'm taken on our ways by our action. We have, have no choice but to follow and be part of this commendable effort of yours. <laughs> Even more assuring is the consensus choice of one Hanes and Lee Boimo State Chapter, whose thought it is by the constitution and the rotation of laws of one Hanes and Lee Boimo Constitution, that tonight and this period is the turn of Imo State to produce a President General that will this time lead in Imo. The choice of Professor George Obioso, a man of impeccable, if not intimidating, credentials. Professor George Obioso is eminently qualified for the office of President General of Ohanes and Deep. We think to cheer about this choice. It's not only the personality of George of yours, but by his enviable wealth of experience, he's coming on board at a very critical time in the history of Ndibu. 
in Nigeria. We couldn't have had any better choice than this great brother of art. This is why the wisdom in your action and decision to choose him is quite very commendable. You've acted as best maker. You've all shown again that indeed was beginning to agree that we can speak with one voice. I want to thank all of you for this very common display of wisdom and knowledge. As we all know, the Office of the President General of Ohane is indeed worldwide. It is not designed for personal gain, nor for material benefit. It is designed for selfless service to India and Nigeria in general. Therefore, it calls for a very high level sacrifice and unwavering commitment to the cause of Undibu and our great country, Nigeria. The need for a grand pair in a round pool with respect to the presidents of Ohanes Undibu cannot be more cogent for our generation than it is today. Like Franz Fanon said, I will continue to quote, every generation has its own challenges, which must be conquered by that generation. Otherwise, the generation will be conjoined by those challenges. The challenge for our generation of India is to navigate our people with the wisdom of Solomon on the part of the guarantee them social justice and equity in Nigeria. To achieve this, we require a leadership that is not only seen by the rest of Nigeria as non combative or confrontational, but why? tactical, diplomatic, and accommodative. Our history has shown that much can be, much can be achieved without firing a shot in the air. The in 1999 did not go to what to produce a president. Yet they produced a president. They even had a situation where the two major political parties fielded two Yoruba candidates. This is product of diplomacy and can be replicated in other parts of the country. Indeed, but we will not go to war to have a president. Then the question is, how do we get what we want using what we have? I think it will give opportunity to one of the best diplomats all over the world, Professor George Obiol, to be the symbol of our hands and indeed to negotiate and deploy processes that are not only diplomatic, but to result driven. There will be a convergence somewhere. I have no doubt in my mind. I have no doubt in my mind that it's Emo and Catherine. Still on the memory lane of history, which we must begin to remember how the great men 
who are today our founding father. How they clip as shining stars in Nigeria. And today, generation after generation, continue to read their names in history, even when they are no longer here. In the First Republic, the Hebrews, through a combination of wisdom and necessity driven alliance negotiation, they were able to have a commanding say in the polity of Nigeria. Dr. Nanda was the president of the Federation. Ceremonial, you may say. But it came with a controlling access, what we call proximity to the source of authority. On this phone, that is the meaning of power. Because there is no power without access. And once you are not around where power is being discussed, you can never be part of the product of that discussion. During that time, that asset guaranteed in the evil to the hierarchy of the military fully. Because the job I have here between me and my God is always trying to do that which will bring the best to him or people. And because the constitution of Mohanes and Dibu already said that this is the turn for him most dead people to produce the President General. And because I have seen that those before me here today represent the reasonable representation of Imo people. And that we are unanimous in almost in reaching at this consensus. I will advise other brothers and sisters of mine to throw their support behind you today. <laughs> we are interested in results. Interested in result. And what has happened here today is the best approach that will give them what they are looking for. I asked somebody in one breath to tell me what an evil president. In another breath, you tell me what Nigeria to be restructured. As if it's not enough, as we are trying to move towards that attitude, you tell me, no, that must be Biafra. So which one are we going to take? The moment we begin to talk this way and show this character of inconsistency, there is no how a particular region will produce a president in Nigeria without the support of other regions. And the moment other regions begin to see you as a threat to the future of Nigeria, they will be reluctant in allowing you to have your fair share. So when we move out now, as a group united, who want the interest of our people advanced further and higher, we must speak with one word. We must believe in the Nigerian project. Because our honest and people, not only in the five eastern states, your honest and people in Lagos is also very formidable. Your honest and people in Kano is also formidable. You are not in Abuja is also formidable. You find that officially in all the electoral wards in, in Nigeria, Igbos are resident there. So our constituency is Federal Republic of Nigeria. I can say it, that Nigeria is an animal. In terms of settlement, it is the Igbo nation. So I want to thank you. Thank you for everything you've done today. Thank you for your efforts and all the sleepless nights you have to be able to arrive at this place. I want to assure you that you will have my total and full cooperation to the glory of God. And they will. This great event happened. We thank you for a moment like this. We thank you for the opportunity 
you have granted, even as we live here, you will give every one of us Johnny Mercy back home. And we hand over this man we have selected unto your holy hand. You shall give him good health. You shall give him the resources. You shall give him the backup that at the end, evil state will be seen as a state that have astute academicians who are willing to help evil progress. Heavenly Father, thank you and bless each and every one of us. Bless us in this ember month. None of us shall be missing come January when this program will take place. We ask, O oh Lord, that you take preeminence in every other thing that will take place in our going from one state to the other, campaigning, Lord, have your way and let your name alone be glorified. We ask you this in the name of God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. For many for national. Well, it's to address the imperative, the urgent imperative of um, uh, raising awareness and sensitizing Nigerians, Niger Deltas, host communities specifically, about the provisions around contained in the Petroleum Industry Bill, currently being debated by the National Assembly. So they become aware and fully apprised of the provisions that affect host communities so that one, they can engage with the consideration process of the bill. They can make their inputs and also be able to attempt to influence their legislators, their representatives in parliament. It's simple. You have to know first. When you know, you can make demands. And they can make these demands through participation at public hearings. They can make demands through participation in this meeting, which is currently ongoing, because what we also want to do is to harvest the submissions from this meeting and submit it to the National Assembly to say, look, a section of host communities in the Niger Delta, this is what they want. This is what they think should be in the bill. This is their position on the bill. And of course, they can also make or influence the bill through their representatives in parliament. Because when you now know what the bill contains, you can place demands on your representative to say, look, I do, we do not like this section of the bill. Can we have it this way? Or can we have it, you know, that's the kind of way several of the ways that it can influence the bill. What stage, what stage is In watching the Oanese Ndibu Kwati visit, 